Hey homies! So, y'all, this quarantine got me like really productive. So, like, I feel like something I didn't really talk about in my Q and A when they asked me a question about quarantine. How has quarantine been? Quarantine has been stressful for a number of reasons, but it has also been like super productive and like super helpful for me because I had a lot of school things and like business things I really wanted to accomplish that I just did not have the time to do when life was normal. So I am so happy. I mean, this is not the way I wish it had happened. Like all the people that have died and are like severely sick and it's getting closer and closer to home. Like I found out some of my relatives have been affected by it. So this COVID-19 thing. So it's definitely not how I had wished to get a break and get some time. But um, I'm definitely grateful that I was afforded some time and yeah so like I told y'all y'all gonna hear about all that stuff real real soon I was supposed to go to Walmart today and then I thought about it that's nasty and I'm tired and I had a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to accomplish at home like I did my hair and um I needed to get my hair break because y'all y'all see my skin breaking I'm breaking out I was a week ago my skin did not look like this but i realized it's because i've been trying all these different gels and stuff and my skin is super sensitive and i don't do well with a lot of products build up on my face and stuff so um because i do sweat real easily so i decided to wash my hair today and like have no product on my hair which with my hair i can't help but to have some on it so i moisturize real good put the wig on and i only have it on because i was about to leave um but like i told y'all i don't feel like we been going no more like i really i just <sighs> i'm tired but anyway y'all i got a couple projects and a couple of different things that's coming up like i said and i am so excited to tell y'all about it this wasn't supposed to be a long video i just wanted to do an update i also wanted to say thank y'all for y'all support on my video because huh, people said they didn't notice it which i'm not looking for them to but in my my dog on q a that i posted i'm gonna do a part two because what i didn't realize was when i was going through editing i missed like 10 questions they were like really silly questions and i didn't want my whole q a to be serious so i'm gonna do a part two with all the other funny questions in it and who else i just had the hardest time editing that video that video was so hard to edit i don't know why it first of all it taught me a lot about being organized with my recording and doing all this stuff and i talked to one of my friends and they were like lena you're really gonna plan out your video and i'm like yeah because i ramble a lot like i i will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk so i was like let me make myself some speaking points and keep myself on a, a like a little schedule like a little plan or whatever bro and I tried to just talk it out <laughs> and y'all I like about it when I what am I trying to say by the time I was going to edit it because I talked so fast like in between it was really no room for me to like pause cut a scene and jump to the next like I talk fast everything I do I end up rounding together so I'm learning a lot like you know slowing down when I'm talking and like always looking at the camera like right now I'm not looking at the camera because I see my dog running outside so I'd be distracted for real but you know just trying to you know look at the different videos and seeing all the different things I'm doing and you know just trying to improve so it's been exciting learning all that stuff and like um trying all this and this stand I got y'all when I first bought it I was in love with it now I'm kind of irritated it works really good for vlogging carrying this around having a stand to put on the table like i told y'all i want to order a different stand with the big light and stuff so the one i had that i was going to order is not on on the website anymore that the one particular that i was going to get but i'm just going to go on amazon and get one um the mica stuff works really good but the light on it is so bad it works good for like say i try to shoot a video and it i do it for like an hour my lights will change like after an hour then that 
it just starts dimming out and like my first quarantine chronicles was that the first one or the second one first one where i was in my bathroom bruh and the lights was fading out is because the light on it was going out and then my other little ring light it's nice if i'm like vlogging like right now it'll last but if i'm trying to do a big video it's not meant to light up a super big space so i'm working on getting some new equipment and the other thing is i was looking at cameras so i'm gonna be thinking about that soon i really like using my phone but even with the editing and stuff and like certain quality videos take up so much space and i kind of figured they would but like my phone i got the lowest gigabyte for an 11 so that's what 64 gigabytes i have never had a storage issue and ask anybody i had a six plus for a long time and i am so paranoid about running out of storage we're going from like eight or was it eight gigabytes 16 gigabytes eight gigabytes to 64 like you should never be worried about that but now filming these videos bro it's like okay girl god dang like it's taking a whole bunch of storage so it's just a lot of learning it's a lot of trial and error but i'm excited about it but yeah i just wanted to say thank you to you all for y'all support for all your compliments to all my friends that be on twitter at four in the morning be retweeting my stuff thank y'all i love y'all so much but yeah i'm not gonna go out today because i'm tired i'm exhausted i've been up on the computer if you're in maryland and you had to file unemployment Y'all know the Beacon website is no joke, okay? It is so difficult trying to get on there and do that and wait and they put you in a line and you gotta stand in line and you gotta catch the email when they send it and say it's your turn because when it's your turn to get in, you only have 10 minutes and then they kick you out and then if you don't meet your turn in line, they give it to the next person. So, it's like playing Relay with the guy dead on computer and I don't, I don't be having time. Oh my gosh, my neighbor's kid is so big. Like, I remember when they first moved here, he was a bit. Anyway, see this stuff I'll be talking about. I'll be distracted. But anyway, y'all, yeah. So, again, just thank y'all. I'm learning and I'm trying. And I appreciate everything y'all are doing. So, please, leave me ideas. Leave me comments. You could do it on here. You could do it on my social media um, about all the stuff that y'all want to see um videos you think i should do i'm gonna be doing some different stuff in fact i think my brother and i are going to be filming a video tonight tomorrow's his anniversary so if i don't get a chance to say happy birthday me and bubba what wait not birthday what happy anniversary guys love you girl love you brother and yeah i think me and him are supposed to be doing a, a video together later why am i stuck on birthday who birthday coming up i keep thinking that is this on my birthday today everybody born in May though so I shouldn't even be surprised if it is somebody's birthday but yeah y'all I just wanted to say that and do a quick little quarantine chronicle for y'all we were supposed to do themes for the quarantine chronicles y'all tell me hmm tell me something let me think 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 do y'all put on sunscreen every day do y'all put on sunscreen every day I know that's random but I have been in this recent new facial journey or whatever i've been using a lot of sunscreen on like my shoulders and my face and i've probably been doing that for the last couple months now um so i know some people who say you shouldn't do that i know a lot of people that say you should and i'm not gonna tell y'all what races they were but some different people have different opinions about that but yeah let me know that's gonna be our quarantine chronicle question of the day do y'all use sunscreen every day do you only use sunscreen when you go to the beach do you know the importance of using sunscreen every day and um yeah get into that conversation down in the comments let me know what y'all think about that and yeah be on the lookout because i think tonight is gonna be a video up and yeah make sure that y'all subscribe make sure that y'all like this video make sure you share it if you see it leave me a comment you know um follow me on all my social media because i love to talk Y'all know I love to talk and I'm always posting something. But yeah, thank y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the short Quarantine Chronicle. And I'm going to try to do them every day. So tomorrow I'm going to put one out and we're going to have another question. We're going to have another thing that we're going to be talking about. But yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.